The Stilly Stoller Stash Management idea. We thought of this weeks ago. It was just parallel thinking. It could happen to anyone. Oh my god, they killed Jason! That killed me. You bastards. Anton never tested M995 on Gen 4. I'm sure of it, man. <sighs> well, Pastilli, this is how you make a stash management video. This is the first installment of Albino's short and sweet tips and tricks, this time going over stash management. Short and sweet. If you ever see yourself faced off against a full stash and you can't seem to fit any more of your insurance items, you can equip directly from the insurance screen by holding down left alt and left clicking the items. Tips and tricks. You'll find that the trader rotation in this game in terms of sale price will always be the same. Therapist will always give you the higher price, then going to skier, then to mechanic and peacekeeper, then to ragman and proper, and then to fence as your final option. However, each trader can only accept certain items, so it's best to just strip down your weapons and go by each trader one by one down the normal rotation and see how much money you can possibly max out on. Short and sweet. The easiest way to save stash space in Tarkov is to minimize the space that your guns take up. You can do this easily by taking off the pistol grip and taking out the magazine, and in some cases taking off the muzzle devices too to make them even smaller. Also, don't forget to always fold your guns if you're able to. Tips and tracks. Saving up for a lucky scav junk box is very important, and for almost every player, it's what you should consider spending your first million or so on once you unlock Therapist Level 2. For taking up only 16 spots in your inventory, it saves you more than 7 slots in general, allowing you to amass a huge sum of barter items without overflowing your stash. You don't even need to organize its contents, as you can check to see how many items you have by simply seeing if you can buy an item from a trader that would require certain barter items. Chart and Sway to save room, you can use tactical rigs with large inventories, like the Alpha for example, to store your long-term barter items that can't fit inside the scav box. Think of like sunglasses, visors, hats, those sorts of things. Tips and tricks. If you don't mind the hassle of clicking through all the containers, beta backpacks have a free 1x5 slot that can be considered free infinite storage if you only stack beta 2s within each other, of course. <laughs> As of right now, you can still stack items cases within each other by simply first dragging them into a backpack that can fit it, an MBSS for example, and then dragging the backpack into the case. Since they've disabled being able to stack cases directly, I'm assuming their eventual intention is to no longer be able to stack cases, period. We'll most likely see come the next wipe if this is the case, puns. But until then, yes, stacking cases still works technically. Tips and tricks. Keep everything you plan on holding on to for long periods of time towards the bottom of your stash, since items you get in raid auto store to the top and can cluster up all your belongings if they're not already tucked away at the bottom. Struts and tags. Most items you find in game with purple backgrounds are considered highly valuable, and if they don't trade for a lot, at least normally sell for a ton either to traders or on the flea market. But sometimes you'll come across what I call worthless streamer shit, and you can go ahead and simply ignore those until Nikita puts in a white lion statue called Albino. It's all worthless until then. Short and sweet. Do not, I repeat, do not spend your rarely found Bitcoin on guns from early level mechanic. As a newer player, it is very important to hoard them so that once you unlock higher trading levels with mechanic, you can trade them for cases to help maximize your stash size. Get some tricks. Oftentimes, most players simply sell the guns they find in raid outright, but if you take the 10 seconds it requires to strip the gun, you can oftentimes get much more money. For example, I used the AK Magpul from Peacekeeper Level 4 as a baseline, and in one case I stripped the gun, selling first to Skier and then to Mechanic for the max ripples. And in contrast to that, I also sold the full gun to Mechanic. What we see is a general rule of about a 17% increase in price by first stripping the gun. In the long run, that makes a huge difference. Short and sweet. Don't bother wasting your time insuring items one by one. Simply wait until you get to the insurance screen before entering a raid and click each item you like to insure or simply press the insure all button. If you're running low on money though, careful not to accidentally insure anything in your secure pouch you plan on keeping there like keys or cases. If you do, when you press the insure all button, you can simply unclick the items you don't want to insure. Report and tweet. You can label just about every container in Tarkov by simply right-clicking on them and pressing tag, then putting in your preferred label. This doesn't work for backpacks, though. Tips and tricks. Since BSG now made it so you can stack ripples to half a million, it's better to now just keep a few wallets around rather than spending all the money required for a money case. Honestly, three or four wallets just does the trick. Short and sweet.
Welcome back to those who have seen the videos before. Hello to those who have not. If you like the video, make sure to drop a like. And if you want to see more, subscribe. I'll be here every day. And I stream. And hello, goodbye. Peace. I'm short and sweet as fuck, boy. <laughs> Focus, people. Focus.